Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm doing a review of the Creator Professional CRP129. Oftentimes I will just review things that I really like. I like this thing so I'm going to review it, share it with people. You know, find something you like, you tell everybody about it. Um, I don't like to be the whiner complainer on things. I promise these guys if they sent me one of these I would do a review video on it. Um, you see where this is going and that's why it's been so difficult and why I haven't done a review for quite some time. Uh, shoot, Mama said if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. But the good thing is that there's a lot of nice things about this and there's one bad thing. And I'm just going to come out and say the bad thing up front and that is it doesn't cover a bunch of vehicles that you would expect it to cover. You plug this in, you expect it to do a certain amount of uh, work or benefit or utility and it just doesn't come to the party on a bunch of stuff specifically on Chevrolet vehicles and on airbag and ABS systems on a lot of your domestic American made stuff so I'm checking out the Creator Professional CRP129 and right out the gate uh, we run into some issues so we have a Chevy Uplander here and I need to get into the analog brake controlled live data so we go in, we put in the year, make and model, it's a Chevy truck, and then it says enter the fifth VIN. It's not asking what the vehicle is, this is just web crawled data that they've pulled from the internet to make the software for this. So the fifth VIN on this is a V, so we'll go ahead and scroll down to V, and it ends in T, that's the last one, we're curious. It says Colorado Trailblazer, it's an S, Colorado Trailblazer, and why not just have these there, that would be awesome. So that's my feedback. So there's nothing there going up through. There's an express van and an express access. Um, more Tahoe Suburban stuff. But it's basically like Swiss cheese. So if you hook this up, you have all of this optimism, but you've got to go through piles of menu before you can get anywhere. So the menu looks like this. Diagnose, scan, and we want to find GM um, that version sure so we please wait for a little bit uh, you gotta manually select it it won't automatically select because it's full of holes uh, I have not updated this unit that's important to note but it should be a light truck or multi-passenger vehicle and it says that it's incomplete so right there prepare yourself for disappointment that's what that word means incomplete if you bought the Creator Professional code reader and thought, hey, I can use this on my Chevy Uplander, you're going to be awfully disappointed. So there I said it. So based on that alone, I don't think that it's worth buying. Um, but the good things that it does are it does graphing. The speed of the graphing is great. Um, the cord length is good. You can get it out to the windshield. Uh, you don't have to do any special thing when you hook it up. It's simple to use. Uh, it's got the OBD onboard diagnostic explanations it's got uh, in the help section it's got a bunch of different stuff to help you with what the acronyms or the abbreviations are diagnostic code library so say you want to know like a P0304 is a cylinder 4 misfire something like that you know you can go in and it'll say cylinder 4 misfire um, another thing that's nice is the abbreviation library uh, some of the abbreviations on this are a little different uh, what does FRAP mean? <laughs> it's a fuel rail pressure. Warm-ups. Um, that's the number of times a vehicle's been warmed up. It's like drive cycles. Things. The languages are in English, French, Spanish, German, Russian, Italian, and Polish. You don't have to hook it up to your phone with Bluetooth or get the connectivity going. It's bright, uh, easy to read display. Uh, the graphics on it are good. There's no batteries. It's self-powered through the cord. Um, it's TF card equipped, which is nice because you can replace it or add memory if you need it. It's got a USB cable. It's got a shockproof case. It's handsome. It's good looking. It's respectable. Um, you can record things on it. I can save all kinds of files and documents to the TF card. Um, like I say, it's really fast. The way that this operates is when you hook it up, especially if you're doing a global uh, type application, because you can do global or vehicle specific. Uh, when you do the vehicle specific, there's a bunch of stuff that's not there for the ABS and the airbag for other vehicles. Um, 
but a global it works pretty good everything 96 and newer but for the price point of being $260 I can't justify doing that for some global check engine reader you know clear code stuff when you can get them so inexpensively nowadays so that's my big takeaway Chrysler is the easiest brand to do scan tools for you know a lot of these Chinese companies will web crawl or pull that information uh, through the front door or back door method uh, Chrysler is the easiest one to do that Chrysler is a company where you turn the key three times you know one two three and then it flashes out in the odometer what the code is or back before that in the OBD1 the first generation it flashed a check engine light you know like one two one two three for a code 23 Chrysler's super friendly that way other manufacturers not so friendly at least in the US so would I buy this no I would not buy this because the coverage isn't good enough and the price point is too high so I've got a link in the description where you can read up more on this uh, you can check it out in uh, on Amazon where there's a bunch of other reviews I think there was like 17 or 18 reviews when I looked three of them look legit and the rest of them look like somebody that was not English as a first language uh, type reviewers maybe they are from the company or something gave five stars and then explained why they gave five stars and just totally blew their cover in my opinion uh, so anyway I want to share with you guys things that are good and awesome and where the valuers are at. I don't want to waste a lot of your time on things that aren't. Um, I get approached by companies uh, with similar type products, usually not as expensive, but a lot of trinkety kind of stuff that I'm just not a big fan of. Seven to twenty of them a day in my email inbox. So when I saw this, I thought, well, at least that'll be a cool giveaway. Maybe this is like one of those, you know, one in so many, like the Van True cameras, where those dash cameras. Uh, again not sponsored but they just gave me a product to do a video on and they were good I like them I use them every day and they're great good value too I was hoping for that didn't quite see that happen uh, but I am gonna give this away to a lucky viewer you'll have to forgive me the screen I mean just even dust on it and wiping the screen off it just got all scratched up so sorry it is push button though it's not touch screen so it wasn't I didn't even hardly touch the screen just wiped dust off a couple times and it's pretty chewed up but anyway you can win this chewed up Creator professional CRP 129 by putting moose in the comments if you're an international viewer and you're outside of uh, the mainland of the lower 48 states you'll need to pay the shipping via PayPal that's in the contest rules you can read those down below uh, I'm gonna announce the winner September 23rd on Instagram or on the Brian's Mobile One Facebook page. So either way, I'll say you won, and then you need to contact me because I don't have your address or any way to get it unless uh, you contact me. So do that. I'll try to contact you, but thanks YouTube privacy settings, you can't contact anybody unless they kind of contact you. So uh, Instagram is a good way to do that. You can send me a direct message through Instagram if I announce that you are the winner. Um, do not email me all kinds of stuff. Who won yet? I want to win. Do you, you know? Do you still need? Don't do that. I'm just going to delete it and not think highly of <laughs> of the gesture. Like I say, I get I get I get on average about seven or eight network invitations, seven to twenty product review invitations, and then a whole bunch of emails that I need to field that are really good for the channel, good for me, good for you guys that get hidden in all of that so anyway I don't mean to be a whiner I'm trying to say all the positive things about this that I can one more thing that I really liked is the manual they found somebody who really had good command of the English language to do the user manual on this and then the little icons here you can see that there's a shape to these buttons and they actually did the shape of the button for up and down and uh, side to side uh, the graphing was impressive I did some graphing on the 07 Nitro as you can see here and the timing of it was good it had great response time uh, the graphics were good if it were like that for every car at this price point this would be amazing but uh, one other thing that I gotta mention I did not update or register this so all I got was just as it comes out of the box I, the reason why I didn't register it is I wanted you guys whoever wins this to be able to uh, sign on and update it and make it your own and have the best experience of it that you can I hope it goes to somebody that uh, this could really benefit but basically you're getting this and you're paying for um, half of this in my opinion 
when you buy that. So it's a good value to me. I, uh, maybe if you update it, I don't know. Check it out. Go ahead and read the reviews uh, on Instagram. Tell me if you think I'm up in the dark. Uh, maybe people just don't write comments in good English, but they are from the U.S. They just, some of the, you know, I used to live in India, and I, I learned uh, Telugu, Tamil, Canada, not the country, but there's actually a language, and my diction, and people couldn't understand me, and my errors, I thought they were really small errors, but it just changed the whole meaning, so, and that's kind of what I see in those comments and the reviews, so that's my perspective. Cheers, thanks for watching. Bonus footage at the end.